I've been running iPad OS 18 Developer Beta 1 on my M2 iPad Air for 10 days now, and I want to share my experience with it, how's battery life been, the bugs I've been getting, and to answer the question if you should wait for the public release or download the Developer Beta right now. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. And we'll start with my experience so far. And so far, it's been pretty good. As you can see right here, I'm using my iPad as my main computer right now. And to be completely honest, it doesn't really feel that different. I do appreciate Apple not withholding the customization features that are found in iOS 18. And they just brought them to iPad right away. And I love that I can theme my iPad quicker now. And similar to the iPhone, I have it set up in dark mode. I'm not a student, but something like Apple Math Notes is still really cool, but I won't be using it too often. And who would have thought the calculator is actually very useful? I still find it funny that Apple waited so long to give us this. Because this is my main computer, it is a little frustrating that we didn't get Apple Intelligence yet with any of the beta updates. Helping me write scripts and responding to emails is going to be game changing. And I feel like without the new AI features, iPadOS kind of just feels like the exact same thing. I have my keyboard here as well as the Magic Trackpad and connectivity has been really quick and good. Also connecting AirPods Pro 2 has been really good as well. My main use cases right now are Apple Notes, editing video and watching content. With a brand new device like the M2 iPad Air, you would expect this, but even on beta, there seems to be no lag in performance. If you're curious about what stand this is, this is actually a stand made by today's video sponsor, Kushu. This is the X33 Pro iPad stand. Not only is this clean and minimal for my desk setup, and I personally love the look of it. It's also magnetic, so my iPad can stick right on it and it won't fall off. And this is great because I connect my iPad to my studio display and it acts as a second monitor as well. And when it's not connected to my computer and I still wanna charge it, it can charge from the back via USB-C port, which is fantastic. So it charges magnetically. Its hinges are really easy to adjust as well and can be in both portrait or landscape mode and rotate 360 degrees. It also has a 90 degree adjustment, which is great. It's all around a very good iPad stand to have. And if you wanna check it out, the link will be in the pinned comment and in the video's description. You'll also get 10% off your next purchase with my discount code. As far as battery life, it's been slightly lower and dying a little bit quicker, but it's definitely less noticeable compared to the iPhone. I pick my moments to use my iPad and I'm not constantly using it throughout the day. And with a charging stand like this or it being connected to the studio display, it's charging. So I never really worry about battery life when it comes to my iPad. And I honestly haven't experienced any overheating or anything like that, which is great. And as far as bugs, it's been pretty stable. I would say adjusting widgets can be a little bit wonky, but they seem to be going pretty good right now. I actually don't mind the new control center. I think it looks pretty nice and I love that you can customize it and have a little bit more control instead of going into settings. It's been a little bit buggy, but honestly not as bad as iOS 18 and it's a welcome change for me. Also, my iPad randomly did shut off, which was a little bit weird, but it hasn't happened. Only happened once, it hasn't happened again. Other than that, I haven't really had any bugs. So should you update to iPad OS 18? And as stable as it is, I still wouldn't recommend it. And the reason being is the iPad doesn't really feel that much different and you're not really missing anything by updating to a developer beta outside of a few features like math notes, the calculator and customizing your iPad. I would expect iPad OS 18 beta 2 to come out on the 25th and I would expect the public release to come around July 8th, July 9th area. So I would just hold off for the public release. So let me know what other devices I should cover if you want to see what's new with Vision OS or what's new with iPad OS and I can go more in depth to that. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget about today's sponsor, Kushu. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. God bless. And I will see you on the next video.